What is going on guys, this is Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. I'm just, I'm just doing a more casual, calm intro, because last episode almost destroyed the whole heckin' episode doing that intro. But anyways, <laughs> like I said, welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off was a pretty crazy episode. We went over to the Skull Cavern, and actually got down to, like, what, level 60 or something like that? Around, like, level... Nine, actually, it was like 19, wasn't it? Like some random number. We actually got an auto petter just randomly in a chest, which is really, really cool. Uh, Penny has to go into- Whoa! Cut that out of the- Why did that happen again? There you go. Okay, good. Jeez. Uh, but anyways. Yeah, we, we got an auto petter. <laughs> we got an auto petter when we put that in the, uh, in the coop. And apparently, yeah, that, that uh, just maintains the heart level with, uh, and by the way, do I have any cheese I need to put up in this? I guess not. If I do, yeah, I'd be in there. Uh, but it just maintains the uh, the heart level with the uh, with the critters in there, so you know I guess it just doesn't go down after me not petting them for a little while, right? So uh, that makes sense to have that in the coop. I'd say it has the most critters inside of it, right? We got some mail today, and I believe later on this episode, yeah, the feast of the winter starts later on this episode, so don't want to forget about that. We do have a uh, what is it? Cactus fruit? Yeah, I think I think we're giving cactus fruit to Sam. Yeah. Dear Waffle, tomorrow is the Feast of the Winter Star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend, Sam? The feast starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you then, Mayor Lewis. All right, cool. But yeah, also last episode, you guys might remember, we uh, went over to this new area called the Ginger Island. God, the heck, chicken statue again? <laughs> yeah, we went over here to the G Ginger Island. We've been talking about that for a little while. We've been seeing it, like, like looking like in the built-in wiki thing. Yeah, there's the auto petter thing, by the way, and it's kind of in the way of the hay thing right there, but... It auto dispenses anyway, so I, I guess it's not that big of a deal. And I feel like from now on, maybe I'll only pet the animals that have the, the hand above them. Because it seems like the ones that don't have the hand, but literally, as I say that, um, petting every single one. <laughs> but uh, the ones that have the hand above them still need to be pet. But the ones that don't have the hand, I guess, are maxed out because we checked that last episode, too. So anyways, let me just keep putting the eggs up over here and I'll, I'll go pet all the animals and all the kind of jazz. We'll probably head over to the uh, Ginger Island again. I do have some things that you guys wanted me to do over there as well as someone said oh, i don't have it in my inventory right now i need to do well that's kind of the reason why i'm bringing it up because <laughs> i don't have it in my inventory and by the way pet the dog too don't forget about the pet and the dog uh there you go water is bowl too and speaking of watering you guys said i need to water like the lava in that 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 volcano over there and that's how you get across that i thought you had to do some other thing but apparently you just water that and you guys said uh, to like kind of keep my eyes peeled surgeon row yeah I, I could get that started and someone also said to replace the surgeon over here with, what's it called, the lava eel. So I guess while we're over there in the volcano, we can go fishing for the lava eel and see if we can actually find that. If not, oh wow, yeah, there's a lot of stuff over here I forgot to get to. Yeah, whoops. And of course, yeah, I wanted to get the star fruit while we're in the desert, but, you know, so much time had passed and it was like, what was it, 11.50 she closes? We got there at like 12.10 or whatever. But uh, yeah, next time we go to the uh, desert, I guess we can go buy more star fruit over there, right? But yeah, I need to have as much inventory space as possible to get all the star fruit and whatever else over here. You guys got Lee. So yeah, let me take care of all this busy work over here real quick. And I'll see you guys over in Willie's area and we'll go down to Ginger Island again and see if we get any more progress getting those, what are they called, golden walnut things for all those parrots? Because apparently we need like 10 of them to go to the next area. Yeah, the slingshot. That's what you guys want me to get, the slingshot there. So let's grab that. I guess we need to go inside and grab some uh, some stone as well. So yeah, let's grab that. We have 290 stone. I'm not going to grab all of them because I, I don't want to lose a bunch of them. I'll just grab like half of them, 140. That should be way more than enough. So there you go. It's 1040 right now. It's probably going to be probably 1130 by the time we get to uh, Ginger Island. And let me just double check. Do we have everything I might need? I'd say so. Yeah. We've got like every type of tool. And yeah, last episode we got the gold hoe back, which is awesome. We still have a chicken statue in my inventory. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do with it, though. These worms, I'm not too crazy about it. We can get on the way back, I suppose. Either that or we'll teleport with the uh, the farm totem. And by the way, someone said... Do we have a mission here, by the way? I guess not. Uh, that I need to go down here and accept Robin's request for a thousand wood. And then I think last episode I asked you guys, yeah, what do you guys think about when you're literally bombing all the heckin' trees over by my farm like the last ones? So I think we'll do that and we'll collect a thousand pieces of wood. Hopefully that actually gets me a lot of wood there. Uh, but I also need to be careful not to bomb the mushroom tree that's over there as well, you guys. So definitely want to watch out for that. Yeah, 11, 1120. It's definitely going to be about 1130 by the time we actually get there. Because it's going to take some time to go to his back room. 1120. Man, and me running into his counter and stuff. Yeah, it's 1130 right now. <laughs> we got another crab here too. All right, a thousand gold there. Willie, take me back to Ginger Island. I don't know what time we went there last episode. And hopefully we have more time to do it this episode, though, but let's definitely keep our eyes peeled. Someone said to, like, look on the ground, because I guess they could also, the golden walnuts could also be, like, buried in the ground as well. So if we see anything that, like, looks, like, out of the ordinary, oh, whoa, literally right out of, right out of the gates, right out of the, right off the boat, fresh off the boat. 
Boom, iron ore and coal, not bad. Yeah, see, we have... But these look... Yeah, see, these look fine. They're not... Starfish there, nah. Oh, yeah, and then these things that I said look like a detonator thing for, like, TNT, apparently. Yeah, that's that's where the parrots, like, perch on top of. Yeah! Oh, whoa, whoa! Let's begin the devil. Oh, not really. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot to bring, like, fishing stuff. Oh, whoops, why'd I drink another one, right? Uh, tw I had 21. So What's with the heck a number? Golly, seriously. Why am I coming over here? I don't think I need to come over here. I guess I'll still come over here and shake all the trees and whatnot anyways. Uh, but yeah, that was one thing I think someone said to shake all the trees. I did do that last episode. I feel like I cut out a lot of it, though. Uh, but I'm looking at the ground still and not seeing anything too out of the ordinary. You know, kind of like the worms we had and... I don't know. What about these things? Are these out of the... Nah. See, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, like, what what is this that I'm looking for here? To try and find these up here. Oh, hold on. What about this thing? Is this? Because I don't think I did that, but man, <laughs> I'm trying to find these second golden walnuts that might be like buried, but I'm not finding any. Fall. Yeah, so we we did uh, cut down a bunch of trees last episode. Oh, whoops. Was that a baby? That might have been a sapling or whatever right there because <laughs> I did cut down these trees. And yeah, our luck today is, yeah, luck is not on our side today, so that kind of sucks here. Man, still not seeing anything in there. I might have already passed when I wasn't paying attention. Oh, hold on. What about this? Whoa, look at that. There's like a square right there. I found one. Holy heck. Okay, yeah, that is super hidden. Can I see any more of those? Oh, I just heard a uh, a droplet sound indicating I could pan for gold with my copper thing. I'm not seeing any. Yeah, I am not seeing any more around here, you guys. Golly. Like, I've, I've already, uh, well, I, can, I can cut down these trees. I, I guess I could do that real quick just so they're out of the way, right? And then, yeah, there's some, uh, Golden walnuts are over there as well. Yeah, so we want to be we get 21 uh, wood right there. Golly, there's a heck of a number twice already in this video, like eight minutes into this video or whatever it is by now. Already have that number twice, three times. There's another 21 right there. <laughs> but I don't know how to get those uh golden walnuts out of right and right there too. And right all the well, I have to like cross the, the river, or repair the bridge or whatever there. But I didn't get a notification saying, oh, uh, you need to bring so and so amount of wood. Oh, yep, there's another one right there. Wait, that looked different though. That looked different from the one that I just saw a second ago. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm breaking all these over here, and I'm not... I'm, I'm looking for them to be, like, out of the or... Uh, uh, oh, well, that still broke it. I didn't think that actually broke, but... Yeah, so you guys said to go into here and then, like, water the... What do you call this right here with, like, watering cans? Let's do that. See what happens. Yeah, that worked! Yeah, oh, yeah, look at that, look at that! The game is kind of telling me with this little driplet water thing right there saying, yeah, water hits this and like makes obsidian or something like that, right? So I'm curious. Someone said to get the lava eel. I don't even know if you can get it in here because I know you. Okay, I guess you can't. <laughs> yeah, so it just like dies right there. But you can get it in here or you, you, you can get a golden wanna in here, though. Hold on. Oh, did I cast it too far? Maybe that's what happened right there. Maybe it's because of that. But we did get a golden wanna in this one time. I don't know if we can get another one. It's already 4 p.m. What in the world? Oh, well. Oh, man, I missed out on something there, but let's go across again. There we go. Boom. All right. So let's see. Whoa, we got enemies. Okay. Ooh, oh, whoa. This thing seems pretty tough. I want to. Whoa. Da, 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 what is that thing over there? Hey, and we got heckin' slimes again. Golly. Oh, man. My. Uh, whoa, that thing explodes. Jeez. Okay, I need to watch out for that. We got a heckin' thing over there shooting lava at me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a slime right here. It's kind of pinned, pinned up against the wall. Oh, that guy's going to shoot. Ah, get away. Oh, we got another one right here, but he's got a uh, thing on his head, though. There's an entrance over there, too, or an exit. There we go. Oh, get away. Go, 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 go. Oh, my gosh. There's more of these flame crew. Okay, yeah, that's the guy that we followed. Hold on, is he? Yeah, we have to attack him. Yeah, so I was following him last time, so I, I felt like, oh, was he friendly or something like that? But no. Seems like he's completely hostile. They're coming over here and literally attack. No, 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 I'm taking damage. I'm taking damage. Whoa. Why is there like cad, very casual music playing right now as I'm dying over here? Golly, finally took one down. Yeah, this is actually getting us some experience points for the combat. You can see on the bottom left. Whoa. On the bottom left, I'm starting to, to level up ever so closely to level 10. Cinder Shard. Ooh. Hold on. What is that about? Do I have to donate that? It doesn't seem like it. It says it's a resource, though. Uh, so I guess it's kind of like quartz and whatnot. You can feel a warm glow from it. So what do you use that for? Do you use ostrich incubator? What? 
I can make sun I already have sunglasses, so I don't even need this. But I need 20 of those and then 50 hardwood and then 50 bone fragments to get an ostrich incubator. What? And that's all you could use it for. You can't use it for anything else. So uh, I don't I don't see the real. And by the way, this stuff can I break? Yeah, I can break this and gets me a little bit of stone, which is good. That guy explodes up there, doesn't he? Oh, whoa, 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 there's ores up there. Hold on, hold on. There's ores. Let's see if we can kill this slime. Get him out of the, get him out of the way. He's got a thing on top of his head. I don't know if that means he's the, uh, oh, what is it? Oh, try to be very careful with this guy. Cause he, I saw him literally explode in the other room. So, oh, I'm going to get pinned. I'm going to get pinned. Oh my gosh. Pineapple seeds. Ooh, this is in warm weather. Oh, does that mean? Hold on. I think that means I could actually plant them here, too, right? Because it's warm here or I guess in the desert as well. I just can't do it like in the middle of winter in uh, Pelican Town, right? Or Stardew Valley or whatever you want to call that area, right? Because it's warm over here. So I guess I could plant it right now here. I just don't know if I could actually like, like farm here. Like, is it allowed? I don't know. And how many of those uh, I saw in the video? It was right next to my name. I have four golden ones. I need 10 of them to like go to the next area or whatever with the, the parakeet that's like yelling at me. I need 10 uh, blah, 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 blahs, right? But there you go. Break that. And let's break this. That's another cinder shard or what? Which which one is it? Yeah, oh, two cinder shards right there. Oh, wait, that's a golden walnut. What? Hold on. I, yeah, I ran out of coffee again. Golly. Yeah, I need to get more of that. Let's actually get some uh, crystal fruit here. Heal up. We get like 50 uh, health, I think, from this. And 100. Yeah, 113 energy. Golly. Yeah. Just need two of those and boom. We're back up to normal. Now. Oh, ow! oh, oh, that's a flame fellow. OK, I can hit him. Yeah, I thought it was another one of those guys like launching flames at me. But as long as I spam here, I might be good. And I kind of want to see what is this? Oh, that's iron as well. Ooh. And what is this? What is, what's happening over here? What are these guys doing? As long as I can hit them and make them explode. Oh, OK. Pineapple seeds again. Oh, it just exploded some sort of a machine. Oh, no. Get away, get away, get away. Golly. Oh, so can I can I also hit that over there? And by the way, I'm, I might just stay till like midnight or like 1 a.m. or what I, I have farm to. Oh, 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 gee, 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 switch back over to switch. Ooh. Okay, I, I was trying to look at my hot bar with the uh, the farm totems down there, my golly. But yeah, so if I break this, am I going to get more of the, uh, the what the you just went right through me? Am I going to get? Yeah, so I guess there's like chests in here, huh? I just got a little, little bit of coal, little bit of a coal right there. Still about uh, 200 so points away. And there's the uh, exit right there, too. I don't know if I want to leave yet, honestly. What level? Oh, my gosh. We're only on level one. What? I thought we we're on like level two. What the? Hold on. How many levels are in this? I guess this is the. Uh, oh, I guess this is another dungeon. I guess so many people like, oh, wow, we got ginger. Well, it makes sense. We're literally on island named after ginger. Right? But so what do we have right now? Five uh, golden wana. So we're about halfway there, honestly. So that's not too bad. Getting some stone, get some coal over here, which is awesome, too. I suppose maybe tomorrow we'll uh, bomb the trees and the farm, right? Yeah, before the uh, Feast of the Winter Star thing that starts at like nine or whatever. We have plenty of time to go uh, bomb some of the trees over there, right? Get a little bit more progress uh, for Robin or whatever. But I don't, I don't know. Is there a reason for me to continue breaking these over here? I guess not. Oh, there's another. Wait, is that golden water or is that uh, the cinder shard? No, it's copper. OK, was that? up? Oh, I'm hearing another thing just making a noise. 9 10 p.m. Are you kidding me? How much time? How is time passing so fast? Golly! We got another crater right here, another fire slime guy. I'm trying to look around the environment while I'm spamming at him. I keep hearing like noises. Oh, what is that? Another mushroom over there, like a different type of mushroom. Magma cap. Ooh. We got a. Oh, is that? Oh, I thought that guy was like able to walk over lava, but I guess. Oh, we got one of these guys. We got gold up here, though, and another. uh. Well, I killed that guy fast. Oh, we got another journal scrap. OK, let's read that here in just a sec. OK, so where is that? It's down here. Yeah, and that mushroom is guaranteed to be iridium. Awesome. So I think we only read day one. Now we're actually hold on. Did we get us? Is this our third? I don't know. I have to check our journal here in just a minute. But day 14, after half a month on this island, I've learned a thing or two about finding these gold nuts. One must keep their eyes peeled for subtle clues. Yeah, that's what you guys were talking about in the comments as well. It's kind of like looking at the ground, looking at anything that might be like out of the ordinary and then hitting it with the hoe and then boom, we got like what two or three of them earlier, which is awesome. Uh, one must keep their eyes peeled for subtle clues. If something looks unusual, there may be a hidden nut nearby or just underneath the ground or whatever, right? I've noticed signs in the sand, signs in the leaves. I even saw a nut up top of a tree near the volcano. If only I had a way of shooting it down. Oh, that's what the, uh, what is it called? The slingshots for, right? So we have to shoot those down. Hold on. 950. How do I leave here? Is there, There's no ladder or anything like that, is there? For me to just 
say, oh, go back to the beginning of the volcano or whatever, right? Like, I have to leave, like, shut up, just walk out of here. Go back to level one and then go back to level zero and then walk out that way? Or, I don't know, I guess we'll see here in just a minute, but... Boy, I had a way of shooting it down. Whenever I spotted a nut plant, I've always found a way to reach it. Okay. So, the actual plant itself, you could reach that. What in the... <laughs> just picking up a chicken statue there. The actual nut plant itself, you could reach it. The ones that are in trees or atop cliffs or whatever, you have to mango st Oh, that's another, that's, that's the tree you guys were talking about. Say so there's supposed to be two new trees here in Ginger Island. That's why you guys wanted me to leave room in the greenhouse. And there you go, we got some more ginger right there too. I don't know if I can actually plant that. Wait, is this a second entrance? Another go, whoa, we're up to six, awesome. Okay, so am I able to just... Oh my gosh, I, I actually have to, oh my gosh. Okay, well, if that's the case, Hold on, hold on, kill this guy. Level three, golly. How many get levels are there? Five? Hopefully, like like a nice round number like that, you know? Five, ten, twenty, fifty? I doubt it. And there's like no, like I said, no lab. I, I don't know, I'd hate to say, oh, I hate to say it too soon and be like, oh, there's no like hole in the ground for me to, actually, it looks like we're uh, we're going up. Not, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Crystal fruit spam this like crazy right now, haters. All right, eat another one, eat another one, eat another one. Switch over to this. Whoa! Eat the life elixir too. I'm dead. Oh, gosh, probably shouldn't have done that. I was, I was, I was pretty good on health right there, honestly. Kind of wasted a life elixir, but I do have five of them. But I guess I'll just spam those. Okay, we have some more iron up there, and we got an explodey fellow right there too. Need to watch out. Need to watch out. I think he only explodes whenever you actually kill him. Yeah, kind of like the uh, the the skeleton or uh, what do you call them? The mummies. You have to explode them whenever they're dead or quote unquote dead, right? Or un re dead. <laughs> Because they're already acting dead, right? Nothing over there, it seems like, so I'm not going to waste my- Actually, yeah, you know what? There might be something over there if we used a watering can. Hold on. Ooh, it looks like- Yeah, look at this! Oh, there's a button! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Does that- Oh, it's getting late, golly. Does that have the do with the other uh, thing in the front? Hold on. Boom! What did that do? That do something? Oh my gosh, this room is huge. Golly! Oh, this guy's attacking. Oh man, this guy floats and goes above rocks and stuff. I have to break him, though. Ooh. And it's 1220 right now, yeah. We're definitely using the farm totem. I I can't, there's no way I could walk out of here. And then like go go back to Willy's and all the kind of jazz, you know? Yeah, I, I need to, I need to use the uh, the watering can way more often here, you guys. Like, golly. Oh wow, there's more stuff there to the right too. Yeah, some sort of a crystal over there. I don't know what that, man, I wasted a little bit of water right there. Whoops. How do I get over there? Man, I don't know. 12.50, 1 o'clock, I don't know, like 1.30 or something like that, I need to start thinking about, oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> I guess if anything, yeah, you know what, you can kind of strategically set up. Oh, man, now we got one of these guys, 110. Oh, I think it was, I, I think it was just a ruby over there that I was missing, honestly. Oh, wait, what's this? Did I just... Oh, did I lock that? Did I do the wrong thing? Should I have, uh, not hit the button? Because it looks like I'm locked in here. Oh, wait, or there are multiple. Oh, oh, oh I got Lola! I hit a uh, level level ten on uh whatever. Oh wait, no, there's another button over here. 140. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, we got a uh, Diglett guy right there attacking me. Oh, I can go in here now. Okay, go 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 go. See if there's happen anything happening on level four. I guess not. Got at least 150. Uh oh. Well, if I fall asleep in the farm, I still get a penalty. But whatever. Go back. Go back. Go back. Uh, there's no way I'm going to get back into the actual farmhouse, right? I don't think so. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're losing a thousand gold. That's better than, better than, better than, actually, I don't, oh, wait, what in the world? Desperado, critical strikes are deadlier. Ooh, I like a little cowboy with a little cigarette there. Acrobat, cooldown on special moves, cut in half. Ooh. So that would be the big explosion thing from the hammer, the galaxy hammer. The, the special attack on the sword is just blocking, right? So I don't even know what that means. Hmm, because I could do that whenever I want, I think, right? I don't know. Either that or it just has a super fast cooldown anyways. I'm kind of thinking Desperado. So critical strikes are deadlier. Like, I could change this later, right? For like 10,000 10, in the sewer. And I, I have like 200-something thousand right now, so... Yeah, I'm doing Desperado. Let's do that. Okay, cool. But yeah, I, I, I'd say we did a pretty good job. Oh, look at that! We got Santa! Hey, look at that! It's Feast of the Winter Star and stuff like that. We got Santa riding in on Christmas Day. Or Feast of Winter Star Day. Whatever. <laughs> it's basically Christmas in-game, right? And we have our trees set up and everything. I wonder if anything special happens. Especially... Yeah, let's talk to Penny, see if anything special happens today specifically. I don't know if she, uh... Oh, wow, that would have been a waste if I, uh... Oh, wow, we got a... Uh, oh, this is actually perfect, because we're going to be gifting a... Actually, I don't think these are... Yeah, these aren't guaranteed iridium, like the, uh... The, like, if I actually forge that. Because that's, like, technically a plant, right? So, it doesn't count there, but I... Actually, I don't, I don't know. Do I have any iridium? Because I know we, we foraged for... 
Uh, cactus fruit in the desert. Yeah, so we do have iridium right there. Okay, good. So there you go. We could use that. We're giving that to Sam. And what time is it? Nine or whatever they said? Uh, oh, whoops, that's life. Yeah, let's keep like three on me. I think they said nine o'clock is whenever uh, the event starts. And we have pineapple seeds now, magma cap, mango. So, so what does that say? Bears fruit in the sun. So we need to figure out where the summer trees are in our greenhouse. Put this down, I suppose, huh? Mango sapling. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I was, I was looking at my energy. Yeah, my energy. I don't have a penalty because I, apparently I think someone said this a while ago. Like if you fall asleep on like a special day like today's like Feast of the Winter Star, right? Like you don't get a penalty, which is pretty cool. So that's awesome. Uh, let me let me just go take care of all the animals and all the kind of jazz. My inventory is uh, pretty well taken care of right now. So that's awesome. Oh, we got some mail probably from uh, whatever his name is. No, it's Dr. Harvey that saved me this time. Waffles. Someone dropped you off at the clinic. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Thousand dollar medical bills. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, Kent just gave me a battery. What? Oh my gosh, Kent is such a good friend. He gave me a battery. Is that for Chris? Oh, I should have read that right there. Man, I don't know if that was for Christmas or what. And while I'm in here, I want to see. Wait, hold on. Did I not read this? Journal scrapping up two? Hold on. I won't go hungry here. The waters are full of edible may. Oh yeah, I did. I did read that. Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's the UI info thing. Just kind of glitched right there. So yeah, that was indeed journal scrap number uh, three. Oh wait, hold on. Number one, two, three. Wait, did I really get this in order here? It goes day one, day six, day 14. You'd think day 14 would be like down here or whatever, but I guess, I don't know. I guess whoever wrote this had like many days. Maybe they say it survived for like a year or something like that, right? And over here is like day 200 something, 300 something, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, let, let me just take care of all that busy work real quick. Uh, Ginger, I guess, because it's a forageable, it'd go inside of here. So there you go, as well as this magma cap. Uh, then battery. Yeah, so we finally have the battery. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Like, we, we do have that mission. I did say, oh, wow, our luck is insane today. What in the world? What is our luck? And by the way, where's Penny at? I don't know. <laughs> She's gone. What in the how? The spirits are very happy today. Man, I need to go to the uh, school camera today, but I can't. Because we got the, the Feast of the Winter Star, and then it turns to 9 p.m. afterwards. Man. Because, <sighs> like, if I, if I went back to the school cavern, I would be... A lot more, because you guys saw how many bombs I use, like barely any, probably like barely even 15 of them, right? So if I go there, I'm going to be a lot more like like bomb heavy, I guess you can describe it as just using bombs all over the place. Because you guys even said, yeah, don't even go out of your way and look for like perfect spots to put bombs. Just lay them down anyways, right? So yeah, I, I definitely need to get used to that. But uh, let me just take care of all the tech and busy work over here. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit where the Feast of the Winter Star starts at about I'm an hour and a half or something like that right now. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, so we've got the mango sapling now. Uh, I think, yeah, this is fall here. These are summer. So if I wanted to place down, yeah, let, let me pull up that one like guide screenshot that told me where specifically to put the trees. So I think we need to put, if I'm going to put a mango tree over here in the summer trees area, it would go where? Because these are fall. Here's spring, summer, fall. I think it would go in this corner right here, just looking at this little, little, little image right here. It goes like right here. Yeah, like right there, because uh, this goes there and then. Yeah, awesome. OK, so we have mango there. It's going to be done in 28 days. Awesome. So that, that's good. So I guess we're going to miss out on a oh, Feast of the Winter Star just started. OK, uh, we're going to miss out on an extra peach tree in there, I suppose. Right. But not that big of a deal, honestly. Uh, actually, I, was, I assume the other tree over in Ginger Island is also going to be a summer type tree. Right. So I suppose we could. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> we can just put them anywhere. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so we have a sweet fisher. So I, I kind of want to go check, and I do know I haven't checked upon this in a little while. Uh, oh, yeah, purple. Yeah, you know, if, if it's a purple mushroom, I'll grab that. And of course, I need to use the common mushrooms as well. Don't forget about those. Those are decent. Yeah, so, eh, a little bit of energy, a little bit of health. Yeah, crystals. Oh, jeez. Wow, a bunch of wine finished right there. Awesome. Well, I do need to get the coffee. So let's get that going over here just because we're this is actually my last like three or so uh, espresso. So, but there you go. Just putting some coffee in here. It's going to be done super duper quickly and whatnot. But at least we're going to get some more coffee because I am low as heck. And I think that's oh, in this one right here. OK, I think we're good. OK, good. Awesome. So let's put those up as well as yeah, we're going to get some great money from that cheese. I need to go put those in the uh, in the basement. I just going to go put the uh, like battery up as well. And I guess we could water this too. I don't know where my oh, there he is back there. I can see the hand. <laughs> I guess that's kind of cool, too. Don't forget about that. But anyways, yeah, let me go take care of some more busy work real quick and we'll head over to the Feast of the Winter Star and go give Sam his gift. 
don't know when the latest I can go to the Winter Star event is, but uh, I think we're fine right now. We can go put the bombs up over here by uh by the bus stop, right? But there you go, cool. So let's see. Oh yeah, and then uh there's worm yeah, the worms are still here, so if you guys are wondering about what these worms were, it's probably gonna be like, yeah, like snow, yeah, 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 like like these winter forgeables and whatnot. Whoops. There you go. And a rock! <laughs> oh man, okay, let's go get the holly up here too. When the world Pam, what are you doing over here? It's Christmas. So yeah, let's put the bombs up in there. Okay, cool. Uh I guess I could give her a gift of wine, but yeah, I don't want to do that, Yolly. That would upset uh, both me and uh, Penny. Speaking of Penny, I don't know where in the world she is. I didn't see her. At least I didn't notice her in the house. Did she just sort of go to this piece of the Winter Star event? Is it too late for me to... Oh, okay, I was about to say, is it too late? Hey, yeah, there's, there's Penny right there. Okay, cool. And then Pam just teleports over here. <laughs> I'm thankful to have met you. Oh, I'm thankful uh, to have met you, too. Hmm. I'm still upset that I didn't win the ice fishing competition. <laughs> yeah, I won it. That's how I got that sailor's hat, right? There's Jazz over there opening up some presents. Today is a time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries for a day and relax. Oh, that's true. I absolutely will there, Marilos. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Oh yeah, feasting I will be doing. And shopping over here too. How much money do I have? I forget. Yeah, look at all the heckin' food. Golly, that's insane. Winter banner, S pine, small pine, ornate window, houseplant. Yeah, let's get another houseplant. Festive dining table, ooh. I kinda like that, that's 3K, the large red rug, that'd be a really, oh, de decorative axe, what? <laughs> Hold on. I guess, I guess it makes sense as a decoration for like, chopping out wood and whatnot, right? I guess that makes sense there, but. Log panel, tree of the winter, yeah, I already have that, manicured pine, yeah. I think we already have a few of those. I, I have one in uh, one of the, the chest in the room, so I don't I don't need to get an extra one, but the decorative axe, yes, please. <laughs> Gonna get that as a meme, uh, extra house play, sure, why not? Just, just get some more decorations, right? Ornate window. I don't know what our current window looks like right now, but honestly, I like the the curtain that it has built into it. I, I could, I could probably buy some from the catalog, which I could definitely afford right now. But I might as well help out the local economy while I'm at it, right? And then a large light string. Yeah, see, buying this would have been a lot better if I can get it towards the the start of the season, not towards the end of it, because now I have to wait until next year to actually use them, right? But ooh, ooh I've had too much knock. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic, but me? I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science! And then Clint over here. <sighs> All these happy families, but for me, just another lonely year. Yeah, didn't he say that last year? Oh, that's... I hope he didn't say that last year. If so, then if he says that literally every year, that's pretty sad. Gus, it's a fine art making candy canes. You've really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. Yeah. So wait, why is their table there so tiny, by the way? <laughs> why, hello, Waffle. It's chilly, isn't it? Absolutely, Ellie. Uh, but you have such amazing flowing hair that I don't even care how chilly it is outside. <laughs> Gus was just telling me about his artisan candy canes. Yeah, <laughs> He was telling me about it, too. I think I had too much cinnamon nog. Wait, hold on. I usually use Fern Island ring fruit for my premier canes, you know. You can't beat that bright red coloring. And it's all natural, too. Man, speaking of all natural, I think Ellie's hair is all natural, too. Oh, and you want to know that... Man, he just keeps going and going. <laughs> you want to know the secret to my deluxe double canes? Okay, but you've got to promise with absolute secrecy. It's a drop of vanilla and white candy. <sighs> Hey everyone, it's a drop of vanilla and white candy, the secret ingredient. Oh! To complement the cherry flavor. <sighs> <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh, are you talking again? Of course, peppermint candy canes are the standard, and I always make a healthy batch of those as well. Man, he just keeps going. <laughs> Jeez, did I talk him? Did, did he talk this much last year? I don't remember. Hey, you look like you're falling asleep. Are you okay? Well. Yeah, maybe, maybe maybe that's just a sign of something there, right, Gus? Is there anyone else? Yeah, Gus is literally the only one that's been saying, like, multiple things. <laughs> Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? Yeah, everything's going to get cold just sitting out in the open like this, right, golly? Harvey, what do you have to say? I'm thankful for... I'm thankful there were no medical emergencies this year. Yeah, well, I did fall asleep in a... I can... Oh, wait, no, I didn't fall asleep in the volcano. Actually, yeah, I teleported home just in time. <laughs> hey, Waffle, what were you hoping to find out of the spirit? Yeah, didn't last year I said, so, I said a new watering can? and was it Emily was it someone else that said something about oh you need to keep your mind off of work something like that a jug of spiced meat a pair of stylish boots yeah you know what I've had my galaxy boots for a little while yeah let's ask for a pair of stylish new boots I see that would be a great gift I wonder if we're actually going to get them now was is Emily yeah wasn't it Robin or Leah someone like that was our uh, 
our, our secret gift giver last year. I, I wonder if it's Emily this year, right? Or maybe Haley right there. <laughs> Let's talk to her. I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. I don't know. Why don't you go look? And then we got George over here as well. A feast for some stupid star. Bah humbug. <laughs> and then we got Emily over here too. Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. Yeah, no, I've got a dinosaur suit on. I'm nice and warm. Oh, uh, hello, says Alex. And by the way, Sam, where's, where's Sam? Can I give him his gift like right now or do I have to do it later? I forget. It's not a good time of year for a diet. <laughs> yeah, we got to... Uh, actually, I don't think there is a Thanksgiving in this game, is there? But yeah, in real life, there's Thanksgiving. And then literally a month later, you got Christmas. So you're putting on the pounds in those month and a half, two months time frame, right? Golly, everyone is. Give Sam a yeah, I might as well. Give him a secret gift, and now, when are we going to get ours? And, what am I doing? Yes, cactus fruit. Wait, was it cat? Hold on, can I double check real quick? Whoa! Jeez, there you go, okay. Yeah, Sam loves it, okay, good, good, good. Give him the iridium quality. Someone did say it, it, there is a multiplier on the uh, Feast of the Winter Star, but it's not as good as the birthday, but it being iridium quality should help out tremendously anyways, right? So there you go, boom. Oh, so it's you. Ah, a cactus fruit, <laughs> thanks. Ain't no oh wait no! Oh I didn't talk man! I think this happened last year too where I gave someone their gift and it like initiated the Oh and then Marnie's giving me Wait, did she give it to me last year too or I don't know, but hopefully I can still talk to everyone. I, I, I probably can. Watch I probably it's probably gonna be this cutscene and then it goes back and then I can talk to everyone. I'm just freaking out over nothing. <laughs> hey Waffle, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Yeah, I don't know. Wasn't Marnie last year too? I don't know, I forget. Uh I didn't even talk to her a second ago, did I? Yeah, I was talking to Emily, so I don't know why she asked, but anyways, let's see what Marty got us. Here, open it up. Let's see what's inside. Is it something good? Is it something I could use? Something I could wear? 12 eggs? What? Hey, I'm very thankful for these 12 eggs. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I can't complain. Well, we can make mayonnaise out of it and get a little bit of money out of it. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Hey, no problem. Thank you very much, Marty. Well, at least I could make use of it. It's not just going to be... Actually, I don't even remember. What, what did I even get last year? <laughs> I can't even remember. Yeah, okay, yeah. Just like I said, we get teleported back, and then we can talk to everyone again. Okay, cool. Mara says, hi, Waffle. Hey, how's it going, Mara? How are you doing? Robin over here. Hi, Waffle. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Well, yeah, I'll definitely join you guys after I finish eating everyone else's food, right? <laughs> Spending time with the family is tiring sometimes. Yeah, well, you've got to do it. Be thankful for it, too. I'll probably get another tool set this year. Well, I got 12 eggs, so you can't really complain too much, Demetrius. <laughs> and I'm very thankful for it, uh, Marnie, if you're hearing me, wherever you are. I don't, I can't even see you. Good afternoon, Waffle. Happy feasting. Well, happy feasting to you too, Ken. And thank you very much for that battery you gave me in the mail. I don't know if it was for, the, uh, for this event or what, but Linus, what do you have to say? I join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. I think you said this last year. Yeah, you're welcome, Linus. I wish I could check those trash cans, though, because we got such good luck. Did you hear the, or do you want to hear the legend of the winter star? Yes, please. In the night sky of winter, there's a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believed that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with some fortune. Some even claim that the mysterious fruit known as star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. I don't know why he gave him such a crazy voice right there. <laughs> hey, good afternoon. How are you doing there, Marlin? Is there anyone else I haven't talked to yet? Especially, yes, the wizard. We never, like, ever talked to him. Because he's, like, outside of bounds and whatnot, right? I don't even know. Did, where in the world is Marnie at? Oh, yeah, she was up here talking to me. Yeah, with Mayor Lewis and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, so Does that mean the, the the wizard is somewhere up here? Oh, ja I didn't talk to Jet. Ja where, where's Vin uh, Vincent? I didn't see him either. Oh, presents. Oh, we'll open those up there, Jazz. Yeah, where's Vincent at? Have you seen Vincent? I don't know where he's at. Oh, wait, there he is. Right there over by Sam. Okay. Yeah, I have to go all the way over here and then... There you go, because Sam's kind of blocking him. <laughs> Can we open presents now? Yeah, well, Jazz is over there opening presents, so why don't you? Yeah, I think we've talked to everyone here, so that's good. Awesome. Now, do I just talk to Mayor Lewis again and just kind of... Or I guess we just leave, yeah. 
Oh yeah, and then uh, casually talk to uh, well I don't need to because he's already maxed out, right? But I'll still talk to him anyways. Yeah, just casually talk to Pierre and not as like a business transactional sort of thing, right? <laughs> My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Yeah, I always try and buy a little bit of something from you every year there, but uh, yeah, I think we got everything done here, you guys. Cool. Yeah, I don't know where the wizard is right now. He's just gone, so... Uh, if I missed out on you, whoopsie doopsie, right? Was you eat a festival? Yeah, I got my eggs, I got my present, I, I gave Sam his present, I think we're good to go, and now it's going to be 10, 10 p.m. Or, yeah, I, I was going to go bomb the trees, I forgot about that, but yeah, I forgot, yeah, 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 Um, I was going to bomb the trees, but I, I think we left all the bombs over in the, uh, in the, what do you call it? So I might as well grab these bombs. Yeah, because I put those up there, too. And then, yeah, we have a bunch of decorations that I got as well, 10, 20. Uh, these are just regular, but actually I could, I could probably craft a couple more of them, because didn't I craft, like, a lot of them? Like last episode, so I could probably craft a couple more of them. I just need to be careful not to accidentally explode that mushroom uh, tree, right? So let's see. Can I? Whoops. Can I craft? Oh yeah, I need to smelt some of the stuff too, by the way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I can make a make. I. Jeez, I, I can't talk. <laughs> I can make a few a mega bombs. Probably like I don't know. Let's get how many? Okay, I've got regular, but let's get three of these. There, I can make twenty-seven more of those. So we have five of those. We get like three mega bombs. I don't know how many I actually need, but there you go, boom. Then, uh, yeah, I don't know, where in the world's Penny at, by the way? It's a little bit too late for me to go to bed, uh, late, like, early enough to talk to Penny, and, uh, I still have, a uh, that right there, too, which is cool. Yeah, next episode, we're probably going to go over to the wizard and actually get the, the Junimo hut thing set up over here, so that's going to be good, and it's also going to be Friday, so we're going to be able to buy another, uh, what do you call that, uh, Iridium Sprinkler, too. So there's the mushroom tree. So I'd say, yeah, you know what, it's probably safer if I, if I just bomb from up here, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, it, it takes time to go in the middle here and then put the bomb in the middle, you know? I don't know. And you guys did say bombing doesn't, like, break items, so... Yeah, you know what? Let's put a bomb here. So I don't I don't have to worry about breaking, like, the wood, the loose wood, right? But, uh... Well, it didn't even do anything. What in the world? Well, it got, it got me a little bit of wood, but, uh, let's do a mega bomb this time. Mega bomb's a little bit more... Pro oh, it broke some of the stuff over there, man! Yeah, it seems like I have to do multiple bombs here, you guys. Golly! Yeah, these trees are durable. Yeah, look at that! What in the world? Holy heck! Oh, jeez! Holy heck, that actually worked! Oh my gosh! Yeah, you have to use a lot of bombs here, you guys! Magma Geod? Holy heck, okay, well, I, I still have some regular, but... Yeah, I've got, I've got four more regular bombs right now, which is still pretty good, so you know what? Maybe lay down two... Did I just put two of them down? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Some more trees are falling down right now, which is awesome. I just don't know if... Like, it, like if I don't grab all the wood, is it, is it going to disappear in the morning? I don't know. It's 1220, 1240, whatever right now. Breaking a lot of wood, getting a lot of wood. Some of it's outside of bounds right there, though. Man. Hold on, uh, break this. Man, get the, get the wood. Okay, good. Nice. It just let it magnetize to me and whatnot. Uh, we have one more bomb, so I suppose we'll place that down here. Sure. There you go. Cool. I guess we'll probably just cut down the... Oh, some of them, some of them got cut down right there. Okay, cool. So how much, what are we, what, what are we up to right now with uh, wood and whatnot? Let's see. 601, honestly, that's pretty heckin' good. Not bad. And I, I need to replace these down. These heckin' broke, so <laughs> there you go. And Oh, man. Uh, it's 130. Man! Yeah, I, I need to figure out where to put these, uh... When, not brazier, but brazier, I think they're called. Because uh, brazier apparently is something else. So I uh, need to... Need a second, like, like oh, jeez, there's preserve, uh, what do you call that over there? Uh, it's 150, am I able to go to bed in time? I don't know, jeez, go to bed in, uh, okay, yeah, 150. Golly, oh, man. Well, at least we got a lot of, a lot of work done there, right? Bombing our trees and whatnot, and yeah. I, I was being careful to not kill the mushroom tree, but yeah, it takes multiple bombs to explode in the first place, so. I'll still be careful, but it seems like I'd be a little bit more reckless with uh, exploding the trees over there. But yeah, it seems like if I just break all the trees over there, we'll be able to finish Robin's mission. No problem. Oh, you guys just need to get more bombs. And as you guys saw, I was able to craft another dozen or so uh, mega bombs and like like two dozen, two and a half dozen more uh, just black bombs. So we'll be able to do that. No problem. Oh, you guys, that's going to be awesome. Kind of want to move this bed like one more like that, just so I can go like this. Boom. Uh, see what Penny has to say today. As we have some crazy like dance music playing in the background or whatever that is. <laughs> what is happening? What's playing in the background? Yeah, we got we got two cheese done today. Not bad. I forgot to place down the axe. Oh gosh, that's a huge axe. Yeah, I can't even fit this thing. Wait, what? Yeah, look at that. That's huge. I can't put this like. Oh, can I put it? No, I can't put it here. Man. Yeah, I don't know where to put it in Penny's area. <laughs> no, I can't do that there. 
Yeah, we have like no. Yeah, we don't have any windows over here either. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we need to place down some. Yeah, look at that. Even lights going through there. I wonder if that actually uh, illuminates at night with like moonlight and whatnot. That'd be pretty cool. I could put the axe over here. Okay, cool. I guess that makes sense in my man cave, right? So there you go. <laughs> we got some more of these plants and stuff. What does these look like? Like a little, 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 little. I don't even know what you call them. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what those are. I'm not a plant person, but uh, anyways. I guess we'll just end off the episode right here. We got a lot of really good progress done today. We went to the volcano like dungeon for like, what, four layers or like three layers. And then we stopped on the fourth layer. What's this? There will be rain on the island tomorrow. What? There's like an icon of a parakeet with an umbrella and like rain back there. What? What is What is the significance of rain on the island? Like, why would I want rain on the island? By the way, what does my dogs love is next is in 10 point. Oh, OK. Pet him today, yes, plus 12 love. Okay, yeah, just need to pet him one more time, and then I guess he's going to get this last heart, or, or what? Because I know that mod doesn't show, like, fractional, like, heart progress, so I think that means... Oh, wow, yeah, all of our uh, coffee finished, which is awesome. Uh, pickled pumpkin, I believe, wasn't it the uh, sturgeons that wanted the pickled? Uh, oh, yeah, I gave him uh, I gave him that last uh, last episode, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that, so we got more sturgeon row right there, and more sturgeon row right there, too. And uh, I guess we'll see what this is, see if it's worth uh, getting into... Oh, yeah, we got that last episode, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, it's still there, golly. But anyways, uh, I guess we'll just look at the tree progress we did. So, yeah, so we started from, like, right here. Yeah, we got, like, 601 wood from that. And I guess we had a mahogany tree hiding out in there, mahogany stump hiding in there as well. Interesting. We get, like, I don't know, a dozen hardwood, however much from that. So that's pretty cool. Then uh, we probably have another, like, I'd say probably, like, 1,200 wood just sitting right here, honestly. Like, look at all that. So definitely want to watch out for that next episode, you guys. Make sure we we'll won't accidentally kill that mushroom. Maybe I'll just break these trees manually right here. Just kind of keep it as far away as possible. Keep the bombs as far away as possible. You know, eliminate any possibility of me accidentally bombing that heckin' mushroom tree. But it seemed like I needed multiple bombs to cut down a tree, like, in general. But I don't know if the mushroom tree is any more vulnerable than that. But anyways, we'll worry about that stuff next episode. And we'll probably... Oh, yeah, Traveling Merchant today as well. Yeah, I guess we'll get a sneak peek. See if any of the stuff here is the same. If we get another, uh, yeah, we didn't get a, we got a green couch, though. Yeah, we didn't get a battery there. Well, we got a battery last, last night in the, uh, in the mail, so I can't complain about that, but I guess I'll just do the outro right now. We can start looking forward to the next episode, because I got Leah's already 9.30, 9.40 a.m. in game on this outro day. So, <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. Uh, I, I believe someone said something about, uh, I guess I could myth bust this. So what color? Uh, yeah, brown chicken. So I, I, I guess the, if I wanted to get the blue chicken, I, I could just keep spamming this until it says blue chicken. Yeah, brown chicken. Oh, wait, no. Is he going to say white chicken now? Or? Yeah, so look at that blue chicken. So this is how you can get the blue chicken, but apparently there's like no actual difference between the blue chicken, white chicken, and brown chicken. Like it, the color doesn't matter. It's just like in the end, it still just makes regular mayonnaise, right? Because like the white mayonnaise, brown or white eggs, brown eggs still give you regular mayonnaise, I believe, right? So it doesn't matter. I guess it's just for aesthetics. Like if I want, like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Should I go out of my way? I could put a chicken in the, that, but oh, I, yeah, it's red though. <laughs> But should I go out of my way to buy uh, a few blue chickens? And I don't know how many uh, how many more chickens I could fit inside there, but I guess we'd uh, figure that out next episode. But until then, uh, I don't know. Did I already do the out the full outro? I don't know. Like button, subscribe button, bell, all that kind of jazz. You guys know the deal by now. 117 or so episodes into the series. You guys already know the outro. <laughs> so thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Wow! Oh, bye there.